The Essential Sound panel is pretty new to Audition. It lets you specify the type of soundtracks you're working with and presents common adjustments for each track type once tagged. Let's go ahead and tag our different audio clips. So to get to the Essential Sound panel, you can always reset your default workspace, or you can go to Window and choose Essential Sound. Here's our Essential Sound panel. And what we need to do is select the different clips that we want to tag. So we have this music clip here. Let's go ahead and tag that as music. And as soon as I do that, we get a little music icon here that specifies to Audition that this is music. It's not dialogue or anything else. Let's go ahead and choose that secondary piece of music here. And we can expand the view so we can see everything. And we'll tag this as music. All right, there's the icon. And if we select these little tracks here, we can choose our speaker A stuff as dialogue, since that is what it is. Dialogue, 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 dialogue. Now, of course, if we kept all of these um, intact and we didn't split them up, we would only have to select them one at a time but this works as well. It's gonna be really specific. So we can see we have clips that are music and we have clips that are dialogue. They each get their own specific icon type. When we have dialogue, we can do things like choose to have loudness automatically adjusted. We can choose to have audition repair our audio if we need to. We can adjust for clarity. And all of these things are done in a very, very smart way. We're going to handle all of this stuff ourselves, so we don't really need Audition to go through and do this stuff for us. So those are the different options we have for dialogue. And for music, things are a little bit different. We've got loudness, but we've also got duration. And duration is going to allow us to either stretch our audio, so to change the duration by stretching it, or to use remix. Remix is something new. It adjusts the duration of the music clip without changing the tempo using Audition Remix. Probably most important and of most use for people who are using Essential Sound is the ability to perform auto ducking. So with ducking turned on, you can specify what types of tracks you want to duck against. Ducking is basically where you have a music track and you have someone speaking over the music track. So what you would generally want to do is just when the person speaks, pull down the volume a little bit from the music track so it doesn't interfere with their speech. Auto ducking does this for you automatically based on how the different clips are tagged. So in this case, we're going to duck our music track against any dialogue clips. And because we've specified all of these as dialogue clips, we are all set. Now, as mentioned, in this particular project, I am going to be dealing with things piece by piece and making my own particular adjustments. So we're going to actually undo all of the tagging we've done here, but Essential Sound is gonna be super useful, especially if you need to throw something together quickly.